In dystopian Panem, Katniss Everdeen volunteers to replace her younger sister in The Hunger Games, a televised fight to the death. Peter Mellark is selected as the male tribute from District 12. They bid farewell to their families and board a train to the capital. Effie Trinket, their chaperone, displays a colorful outfit and flamboyant demeanor. Haymitch Abernathy, their mentor, appears drunk and disheveled. The capital is shown in its extravagant glory, starkly contrasting District 12's bleakness. Katniss and Peter undergo makeovers, revealing them in glamorous capital-style outfits. They ride a chariot into the opening ceremony, wearing costumes that catch fire symbolically. Katniss earns the nickname The Girl on Fire. Training begins. Katniss displays her archery skills, impressing onlookers. Peter admits his crush on Katniss during an interview, surprising her. The tributes are transported to the arena, a forested enclosure. The games begin. Katniss runs away from the initial bloodbath at the cornucopia. She climbs a tree and ties herself to a branch to sleep. The career tributes, who trained for the games, form an alliance. Katniss forms an alliance with Rue, a young tribute. They devise a plan to destroy the career's supplies. Katniss is trapped by the careers, but escapes by dropping a tracker jacker nest on them. She hallucinates from tracker jacker venom, showing distorted, surreal images. Rue is killed, and Katniss solemnly decorates her body with flowers. The game makers announce a rule change allowing two winners from the same district. Katniss finds Peter camouflaged as a rock, injured. They take refuge in a cave, with Katniss caring for Peter. The capital manipulates the environment, forcing tributes closer together. A pack of wild mutant dogs attacks, driving Katniss and Peter to the cornucopia. Cato, the last career tribute, confronts them. An intense fight ensues on top of the cornucopia. Peter and Katniss manage to push Cato to the dogs below. The game makers revoke the rule change, allowing only one victor. Katniss and Peter threaten mutual suicide with poisonous berries. The game makers relent, declaring both winners. Their act of defiance sparks controversy in the capital. President Snow watches them with a stern, disapproving gaze. Katniss and Peter return to District 12 as heroes. They pretend to be a couple, aware of the capital's surveillance. Gail watches their return, sensing the change in their relationship. Katniss struggles with her feelings for Peter and Gail. The movie ends with a sense of unease, hinting at future rebellion. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more.